What is going on my good people? This is your main man Ben here. And today guys, we are going to compare the massager that we have reviewed a couple of weeks ago. Um, I felt like I have a little bit more responsibility since I reviewed both. And I came up with some conclusions. And upon further tests during the week, I have found out that, you know, maybe I jumped into conclusions way too early. But I'm here to rectify what needs to be corrected, and we're going to check this out. We got the Tergon and the Igros. Both are awesome. I'm telling you in a cyclist perspective that these things are amazing for recovery. And I think it's a good investment, anything for good health, right? But today we are going to be using a simple app, a decibel meter. This will let us know, you know, and determine how noisy the ones from the others. So once again, we have reviewed the Theragon and the Igros. Um, we're going to be using the condenser mic since these things are like, you know, really sensitive. So we got an actual representation and, you know, an actual sample so without further ado let's do it so right now we're going to be using the theragun decibel meter theragun so we're going to be fair setting up at the lowest setting that way we have an actual representation of how noisy these things are Let's see the data. And this is the Theragun right here. So I'm going to read you the data real quick. It looks like it picked out at around 92.5 decibels. And that would be the peak. So this clocks in at 92.5 decibels. Theragun. Second test is the Igros. Lowest setting. We're going to be hitting the mid one since it's kind of not loud. This is the mid. Two lights on the top. High. So here it is, guys. It looks like the peak for Igros is barely 90 decibels at its highest. So the lowest one was around 67.5 for the lowest setting. And this is from the decibel meter. I determined it from the lowest, mid, and the highest. So there's only two determinations. There's only average decibel and peak decibel. Once again, both machines are amazing, but the main difference of this one is that you'll be paying premium for this machine around 350. This is the Theragun Elite, and this is the Igros A9 Pro. There's a lot more speed in this one, but once you determine if you really need it, then probably you'll be paying premium like 350. Um, you got to put that in the back of your mind because 350 is a big chunk of money versus the A9 Pro Igros is on sale right now and you can get this for like $99. Three speeds only, but based on my experience guys, this does the job. Um, this one, you'll be paying $350 if you don't have the discount for the, uh, you know, first responders or the heroes. This wins it all. I think best bang for the buck performance wise. 
you would not go wrong on the iGros Pro. Once again, this is good for athletes, um, you know, if you want to relax your muscles after big rides, like if cyclists, you, know, you ride 20 miles, even 30, much more 50 half centuries or century ride, 100 miles. This is perfect machines for recovery and I think you can't go wrong with this guys. But once again, appreciate you guys watching. Happy Monday and have a great week. Peace out.